welcome back Justin Verlander, Cy Young Award winner. They're here are his numbers in four starts in spring training. What's great about that, those numbers are obviously phenomenal. A lot of Verlander's family is here, including his brother and his parents in attendance tonight. Swing and a miss. Castro will go ahead and tag Otani. Otani claims he foul tipped that. At least that was what his discussion was initially. But Jansen Viscani says no contact. That's a strikeout. Welcome back, Justin Berlin. JV might set that bar pretty high for future older pitchers who have Tommy John. Welcome back, Justin Verlander. One, two, three innings, striking out Otani and Rendon to start and end his first inning back in 624 days. Thought he may have gotten that call from Jansen Viscani that, that was just outside on the one-two pitch. Now he hops off the mound with a strikeout. Verlander ends the first two innings with a strikeout. Called third strike. Go. Otani goes down looking. Verlander has struck out Shohei twice. And he has four punch outs on the night. He's done a good job over his career. We showed you the matchups. And when he does go out and get Shohei Otani, it's usually that slider on the inside corner or the heap. But this time it was a slider. The Astros go for a sweep of the Seattle Mariners. And they do so with Justin Verlander on the mound. He goes around. Justin Verlander off to a quick start. Got him. JV strikes out Suarez to end the inning. Strands two. Through four innings, he has a three hit shutout going in the Astros lead 4 0. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout for Verlander. Number three on the day for Justin. As Winker strikes out for the first out of the seventh. Speaking of Dusty, he has made his way out of the dugout. Justin Verlander just over 100 pitches at 101. Nearly flawless, just an Eugenio Suarez home run getting in his way, but he will leave with a 7-2 lead and another great outing from JV. This is going to be a standing ovation from a Wednesday afternoon crowd on his way out. Justin Verlander pitching here at Target Field, making his sixth start of the season, five starts in. Swing and a miss. Verlander starts the night with a strikeout of Max Kepler. Kepler goes down for out number one. You can see that just light, slight little movement up in the zone, fooling Max Kepler to start this game. Very good ball player also, obviously, number one pick for the Minnesota Twins in 2017, and now he's here facing Justin Verlander. Verlander picks up his second strikeout. Kind of like Jeffers is right here. And he goes down on three pitches. Verlander on a 95 mile an hour heater picks up strikeout number three. Two outs, nobody on. The Astros lead one nothing. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. Got him. Strike three. As Celestino goes down on strikes. Fourth punch out for JV. Ball in the center field. Chaz McCormick will move to his left and he will put it away for out number three. Justin Verlander allows his first base runner of the game via walk, but that runner is quickly wiped out on this play by Verlander to start the one, four, three double play. This one off the glove of Maldonado. Celestino heading to second and he will be out at second base. Martin Maldonado throws out Celestino trying to advance and Verlander has still faced the minimum despite walking two in the game. He has been in command of a majority of these at bats frustrating Minnesota Twins hitters. That one's popped up way up in the air. Yuli Gurriel all by himself at first base puts it away for the final out of the seventh inning. Justin Verlander has faced the minimum two walks tonight. We are through seven in a 5 nothing game. Got him. Broken over for a called third strike. JV picks up a big strikeout, getting the tough Jorge Polanco for out number one. Here in a 3-2 count, goes back to it and throws the filthy one at the bottom part of the zone to get the looking strikeout. Mattress from Supermo is showing you some of the movement of that curveball as it snaps down, and Polanco knew it. There's a line drive base hit. Justin Verlander was within five outs of pitching his fourth no hitter of his career. Only Sandy Koufax and Nolan Ryan have done that. 
And Verlander goes seven and a third no hit innings tonight. I really thought we were going to see something special tonight. But Gio Urshela spoils it by going the other way with that fastball. Another incredible start for Justin Verlander. I imagine he's got at least this inning, assuming he doesn't get in any further damage. And he might not with Bregman going to Altuve. Altuve's turn in time to get Royce Lewis a bounce throw to Yuli Gurriel for a double play. Two walks and a hit allowed by Verlander. And all three base runners have been wiped out. That last one by a double play. Bregman to Altuve to Gurriel. Joe Espada will be managing tonight. And he'll have Justin Verlander pitching for the Astros. What a luxury for Joe to have Justin Verlander on the mound. Ty France a swing and a miss as Justin Verlander picks up a strikeout against the best hitter for the Mariners this year, Ty France. Show you that slider breaking down and away in a beautiful location against Ty France to get that first strike out of the game. Here's the one two pitch, and it's swing and a miss. Tremel swings over the top of another breaking ball, a good long slider to the back foot. And there's one away with Verlander's second strikeout. Here's the 0 2. Curve got him, strike three. Really pulled the string on that breaking ball. Winker goes down on strikes, three punch outs. There is a better one as he gets the swing and miss. Julio Rodriguez goes down on strikes. That is now four strikeouts for Verlander. Three of the four strikeouts have been on that slider, and he's actually thrown extremely good ones. Very consistent in that outside corner. Swing and a miss. Verlander slaps the glove on that strikeout. He ties Matt Scherzer on the all-time strikeout list with number 3,079. Call third strike. Justin Verlander with six strikeouts tonight. Now 3,080 in his career, number 18 all time in MLB history. Strike three called at the knees. Rodriguez goes down looking. Strikeout number seven for Verlander. Swing and a miss. Verlander gets a Eugenio Suarez on strikes. Eight strikeouts today for Verlander and one away here in the sixth inning. He is creeping up on the list now just two behind John Smoltz for number 17 all time. And he's got a few other guys in his sights in the next couple of weeks. Swing and a miss. Got Toro big strikeout there for out number two. Verlander up to nine strikeouts now on the night. That's a new season high. Turbo slider in, gets that swing and miss. You know, struck out 241 times against them. Foul tip caught by Castro. Strikeout number 10. Verlander pumped up. He's now tied with John Smoltz, number 17 all time on the strikeout list. Swing and a miss up top with 96. The fastball beats Cal Raleigh for strikeout number 11. JV getting back to the swing and miss ways. Called third strike. He gave him that one on the outside edge. And Justin Verlander strikes out 12 and walks off to a standing ovation for the Minute Maid Park crowd. Justin Verlander on the mound making his 12th start of the year. JV has been outstanding in 10 of those previous 11 starts. I did. And now <laughs> you were great. I knew it. You were great with Cle Oh, that's got to be a call third. Yes, it is. He's getting his legs behind him. Foul tip caught by Castro. How about that tone setting inning for Justin Verlander? With your, your guy up at home plate. Meanwhile, JV's just rolling along. He's a, he's a little. Stiff. Yeah, that one bothers him right there. Comes back with that. Right. Because I feel I'm worried. <laughs> 2 2 pitch swing and a miss. JV back to back strikeouts. Verlander ends up giving up just three hits in seven innings. Justin Verlander takes the baseball for the Houston Astros today. He's going to be facing a team he's faced quite a bit over his career. But as an Astro in those last three starts against the Chicago White Sox, he has gone a total of 21 innings. The one two pitch. Maldonado complete the put out. There's two away. First strikeout of the day for Justin Verlander. Gave up six runs on 10 hits. There's a swing and a miss. Vala almost fell down. One out. And that is 3,009.
93 strikeouts, tying him with CC Sabathi on the all-time strikeout leaders list. Pulled a string. Got him with the slider. And there's two away. And with that, he passes CC Sabathia, sole 16th place on the all-time strikeout list for Justin Verlander. Swing and a miss. Verlander got him. Through the changeup. After all those foul balls off the fastball, JV with a quality changeup to get McNeil to strand two runners. Call third strike, drop the hook in there. Justin Verlander picking up his second strikeout in three batters. 0 oh, 2 pitch swing and a miss. Verlander picks up a second strikeout of Jeff McNeil. But at some point, which is kind of frightening to other hitters, as he blows away Guillaume, another 300 hitter. Swing and a miss. JV getting Brandon Nimmo on strikes. Swing and a miss. A brilliant outing by Justin Verlander. Two hit shutout baseball. He locks down the New York Mets, retiring 22 of the last 23 he faces. Today, donning that Space City uni on the season, 16 starts, Cy Young type numbers with that 2 0 ERA and that sub one whip. Add another strikeout to that total as Verlander makes quick work of the A's right fielder, three pitch strikeout. He's going to show us some of the movement on that pitch. You're also going to see how it comes out of Justin's hand. Gets on the side of it, pulls across, and just yanks that across the plate. Getting... Foul tip caught by Maldonado. There it is. Maldi comes up with that one, and that'll be a strikeout for Verlander. Oh, <laughs> buckled noisy. He was trying to hang in there. JB with three strikeouts in this game. Making four as he gets Garcia to end the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the second. One and two the count, and there's a called third strike. JV walks off the mound with strikeout number five as he starts the third inning. Called third strike. He dotted him up on the outside edge at 97. Strikeout number seven for Verlander. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number eight for Verlander as he picks up the first out of the sixth inning. Swing and a miss. Got him. Justin Verlander went back to the changeup again to strike out Elvis Andrews to end the inning. Verlander, six shutout innings today, striking out 10. And that is a called third strike. JV dots it up on his former teammate Carlos Correa to pick up his first strikeout of the night. Swing and a miss. Justin Verlander starts off this game with a 1-2-3 inning with a couple of strikeouts. Actually the lowest run total since 16 in a four-game series for Minnesota. This one gets away from Maldonado. It's a strikeout for Verlander. He's And I think the reason he's in the lead by that much is because he's one of the few good fastballed strikeout Max Kepler. Goes on the I.L. today. Swing and a foul tip caught by Maldonado. A three-strikeout inning for Verlander. Five strikeouts in the game. Call third strike. Cave took one near the knees, and Justin Verlander has six strikeouts, one out into the third. And a swing and a miss. Verlander moves past Mad Max, 13th by himself on the all time strikeout list. Swing and a miss. That is number eight for Justin Verlander, getting Nick Gordon to start the fifth. And then you add family to it, and there's also all of a sudden you've got a different perspective. Another strikeout of Kepler. Second time he's gone down. Nine strikeouts for Verlander tonight. Two out. Got ahead with the breaking stuff, then missed with three fastballs. We'll see what he goes with here. Three, two. Swing and a miss. Beat him with a fastball. That's ten strikeouts for Verlander. A little cue shot towards Bregman. Alex will make the play, and that'll do it for the Twins here in the sixth inning. Justin Verlander in the middle of a potential Cy Young Award season is having a brilliant night tonight. Astros lead two to nothing. Yeah, Justin Verlander finishes off his 2022 season with a game against the Philadelphia Phillies, a team he hasn't pitched against 
in the regular season in October can anticipate starting a week from tonight in game one of the ALDS as he gets Harper for the first out a wild card spot with that win last night now tip caught by Maldonado JV off and running in his final start of the season a lot of that has to do with not a lot of run support as he gets a swing and a miss getting Brandon Marsh similar sequence to getting Bryce Harper earlier in this game yeah, fastballs up, fastballs away. He's been on the edge with that fastball the entire time. And all is on the table, a potpourri of Astro superlatives on the final show of the regular season for Twitter Tuesday. Now trying to tie that moving target of Max Scherzer. And he gets the strike, a strikeout. Baton thought he held up. Lander tied with Max Scherzer for 12th all time in the strikeout list. And he is now number 12 by himself. Strikeout number six. 31 94 in his career as Verlander strikes out Beerling. He has been all over the edges. You know, you get that seed. Are you comfortable just staying in that seed or trying to fight for a different seed? Roll behind JT Real Muto. That is a cold third strike. Verlander has struck out eight of the first nine. Just saying. <laughs> oh, give it to him. Eight in a row. Ties a franchise record. Eight consecutive strikeouts for Verlander. He has done a great job. Eighth consecutive strikeout. Tying the franchise record. Swing and a miss. There's another one on the slider. Ten strikeouts for Verlander, his fourth start this year double figure strikeouts coming off the mound and then he was talking with Josh Miller and Dusty Baker hey skipper you said if I got 10 punch outs I could leave the game anytime I wanted so I got the 10 punches I'm gonna take it to the house <laughs> 